rather than you know a fire hose you have a very sharp pointed stream of water hitting that one thing that's driving the cancer growth so when you do that you limit side effects a little bit more and you know the drugs work better so nowadays whenever we have a new cancer we actually run genetics on it and that gives us an idea of what treatments would be best and that's a brand new technology in the last two three years and you know who knows in about 10 years we may have a whole set of drugs just for you as an individual based on your genetics. So there's definitely been a lot of advances. Um, I think there's a lot of hope in the field. At the same time though, we always like to raise awareness. So again, I appreciate you guys bringing me here just to speak about it because I know some of my experiences. Um, I know you guys have a busy day, so if you need to cut me short, please do. Um, there's a lot to talk about with cancer, so I kind of just figured I'd give you guys just some updates on some of the newer stuff that's been out there. and kind of what we and the cancer field have been dealing with. Um, just to start some background on myself, so I'm from the Midwest, so I grew up in Ohio. Uh, moved to Chicago when I was kind of in middle school. Uh, did my uh, undergrad in Chicago, went to Rush Medical School in uh, downtown, went to Indiana University in Indianapolis, then um, same work with a group called Ironwood, uh, actually just down the street, um, we're like five minutes away. Um, I, you know, some of you guys have probably had some experience with cancer. I know some more than others. Um, but today I just wanted to kind of give you guys um, some background on three specific aspects of cancer. One is screening. The second is, you know, new diagnostic tools and then just different treatment paths we have now. Um, as some of you guys may have read, uh, cancer statistics are actually improving. Every year for the last 10 years, we've actually had a decline in mortality. So. The amount of patients passing from cancer is de decreasing every year, mainly because we're getting better treatments, um, we're catching it earlier, and we're just doing a good job getting people through those treatments. Um, specifically, I think screening has become a big part of that. You know, the earlier you catch a problem, the easier it is to handle, and I think that applies to screening. Specifically, there are two things I want to just touch on today. One is that even though all of the cancer rates across the board are decreasing, the one category of cancer that's increasing is gastrointestinal cancers in younger people. And I think that's something that we're trying to raise awareness to because um, the rates of especially colon cancer and you know, people under the age of 50 is rising. Um, I think in the last you know, ten, uh, three years, I've had at least 15 patients between the age of 30 and 40 coming in with advanced colon cancer. You know, in the past we focused mainly on treatment, but again, now we're trying to shift more towards prevention. Um, the other aspect I wanna talk about with screening is in regards to our more, more recent issue, which was the COVID pandemic, um, and just how there was a big decline in screening. So as you guys can all remember and imagine, so many, you know, you know so many uh, that, but we're still kind of catching that, that drift. So. Just a reminder for everybody to always get the screenings and if you're behind, this is a good time to go back. Um, I'm not trying to scare anybody either, but it's just some data that we've been looking at that's been just, you know, as we look back and we look back at the pandemic, there's gonna be so many different aspects of it that really affected our lives that we don't realize. And so that was one that, that I've seen personally and I wanted to share with as well. Um, some more positivity as far as cancer goes. Uh, we have many more treatments. Um, and I think that's one of the pulls that kind of drew me to the field. Um, not only do we have wonderful patients who are probably the most persevering people I've met, but we also have great advances. Um, as you guys have probably seen even with the State of Union yesterday and in the last few administrations, the government is trying to put more effort and money towards cancer research. We've been having many new drugs and um, things being developed over the last few years as well. We actually have better nowadays. What we're realizing is that just like all of us, we each have a different makeup of DNA and different things in our body that make us unique. Each tumor has the same thing. They each have their personality and they each have their own DNA structure. And some of them have different mutations that we can actually identify that make a drug that can target. So if you have mutation ABC, there's now a drug ABC that directly fixes that mutation and can treat that cancer in a much gentler way. 